I've been waiting quite a long for this one, and it's not really correct to say that I bought the Saber only for this campaign, but let's just say it was a big part of why. So basically, I'm not going to read the entire story, I'm just going to sum it up for you. And uh, I'm actually going to just flip through these a uh, wee bit. Uh, channel 1 is Anapa, so 3 is Channel 3. We have a route here that will take us through about 23,000 feet and uh, onwards to Sochi. And we will reposition our aircraft. Basically, we are uh, a uncle and, well, pilot team that has refurbished the Saber to use in an ongoing war. So the Saber is now done and we are going to fly it to a forward airbase. Uh, the entire thing is a bit longer than that, but uh, I don't want to spoil it in case you actually do want to try this out yourself. The sword, the sword is pretty decent and I like the idea that you have this old 1950s fighter in a modern conflict. I actually do like that. So we are gonna start up this bird and see what we can do about it. I bought this All right, yesterday. Sonny, just about do it. Call for ground. Whoa. Chief, turn on the ground There's power. Crowd out here, isn't there? Well, call Copy. for ground power when you're ready, and then fire her up. Don't snuff the start and make us all look foolish now. You ground know. power is now Be on. Be sure to bring her back in one piece now. Yeah, bring yourself back too while you're at it, would you? I got the saber yesterday, so that is part of the reason why uh, I'm using the auto start. But I'm gonna keep using the auto start for this one because I, I just want to enjoy this bird for now. And uh, that said, the saber doesn't appear to be the most complicated bird in the DCS arsenal, for that matter. I do like the color scheme though, I mean, they made a pretty stellar job. Oh, and I think my head is actually so... I might need want to lower my head or I'm gonna hit it in the, when the canopy slides forward. Let's see if we can... Nope, doesn't have any effect. Turn off the ground power. <laughs> Copy. We'll simply have to... Correct power is now ourselves off. a little bit, and there goes the canopy. Canopy is now closed. We are checking everything. Start is complete. We're rolling. Radio is now online. Thank you, Anapa. We will be rolling. Nice to see so many people are out here to welcome us to the war. Oh crap, 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 crap. A little bit, uh, the nose wheel steering on the Sabre is not really what I want it to be. It's a bit stiff, but... Um, it's not as bad as the MiG-29, so that is actually one of the reasons I got the Sabre, and... Adopted Tower here, just want to see what a fine looking aircraft you've put together there. All of us up here are glad to see you finally get her out of the hangar. It looks like you've created quite a stir among the locals too. Word has it that you've created a nightmare for a security coordinator this morning, but it's worth it. I'm sure you gave those civilians some renewed hope in this drawn out godforsaken war we're in. Yeah, basically the gist of the war is that uh, it's been quite a long time, and as far as I can determine, neither side is getting any kind of resupply or reinforcements. So we have been forced to refurbish an old museum piece, this F-86 Sabre, and we will be using this one for mostly missions that require air power but doesn't necessarily 
require the deployment of an F5 or an F15 or anything like that. Enough tower, this is Trainer 7. We heard there's somebody down there creating quite a stir with some old airplane. Mind if we come on over and take a look? Trainer 7 and Alpha Tower. Word spreads pretty quickly, I guess. Get clear for a low approach over the ramp. Stay north of runway 22 at all times. Traffic for you is three trainers departing for runway 22 at a helo low altitude just south of the field. We got a visual on trainer 7. I think that's the plane right over there. Or at least it should be. He's conforming to the... Oh look, they got an F-16 as well. And that looks like an F-15, yeah. So, like I said, they got a pretty mixed aerial fleet. Wow, you weren't kidding. Would you look at that? Never thought I'd see one of those outside my exhibit. And to think, those things first started flying when my grandfather was still a boy. Hey you, if you're on frequency and can hear me, great work with that restoration. We need your help more than ever, too. Basically, I think the entire idea of it is that uh, they need some cheap ground attack airplanes and I wouldn't be surprised if the rest of the world is basically holding these both countries in an embargo or something like that. At least that's the way I interpret it, because otherwise the entire world would rush to just sell arms to them. Could also be that they just simply can't pay for the weapons. But then again, people who wage wars like this usually find a way to pay for them, one way or another. Saber, it may be a good idea to do a loop in the traffic pattern before heading to Sochi, just to make sure everything in your aircraft is functioning properly. We can take a look at your airplane from the tower here and spot anything that might look out of place. Uh, copy that. I'll let the trainers take off from one way through two before me, unless you have any other idea regarding that one. Anapa, Ford, 1-1, one, one. request takeoff. Ford, 1-1, one, one. Anapa, you are cleared for takeoff. Looks like we got cleared for takeoff runway 22 before the F5s. At least that's... We'll see if the F5 is flinching or not. It de depends a bit on how the ATC works, but yeah, the F5 is is stationary, so that means we have takeoff priority. I mean, we are the honored guests of the show and everything like that, so we're gonna hold short. We are going to get rid of our air brakes. We are going to lower flaps. Stuff are good. Tower is channel 1, radio is online. Uh, we don't have any ammunition for our guns, so that doesn't really matter right now. Off we go then. Our target altitude will be 23,000 feet. Make one left hand circle around the runway just as uh, they requested. Wheels up. It's not really the takeoff that worries me when it comes to this campaign, it's more like the landing. Hopefully we will be able to get that as well.
Like I said, I really like this scheme. It looks very good. Let's climb out a little bit more and reach our target altitude for the flight to Sochi. And from now on, I suspect the mission is going to be a little bit more boring to watch at. I mean, it's just going to be a transfer flight down the coast, so... Got some confidence in your aircraft there, Saber. Well, we didn't notice anything abnormal or unusual with your aircraft. Have a safe journey. All right, that's an up done. So we are gonna switch channel to channel three, so we can listen in to Sochi and route. Current altitude is 2.9, so we're a little bit high, we should try to reduce our altitude a little bit. have one of the base just ahead there so we are not gonna maneuver around it we're just gonna basically keep going on a forward stretch here as far as i know this plane doesn't really have any altitude hold mode or autopilot or anything like that so this is gonna be a very manual way to fly the plane And of course we am a little bit worried about the landing, but hopefully we will not have any too big a problem with that. from the airport right down there. Not the one we're looking for. Though. We're gonna switch to the F10 map and Sochi is right down there so 
We're gonna have to be careful not to splash this thing into the water too. Like I said, it's not, there's not really much for me to say or do right now. It's basically just a transfer flight mission. <sighs> Add to that that I just had a pretty nice lunch and I'm feeling like just falling asleep in the air. Falling asleep in the air is most likely not a good thing to do. But I have to say that I didn't really know what to expect with the Sabre. But uh, I really like it. I mean, it's intuitive as hell. Uh, most of the stuff doesn't take that much to learn. Um, sure, I still rely on the auto start, but um, considering the amount of modules I own, it's, I do allow myself to take a break when it comes to knowing the startup of some aircraft. Especially one such as the Sabre that I will actually probably not fly that often. I mean, when I say, said I didn't buy it for this campaign, uh, I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have a campaign. I can say that straight away. We seem to have something behind us. Uh, I can see in the mirror there some... Saber, this is Radar Control. Just letting you know so that you're not startled. But there's a friendly approaching you from your four to five o'clock. Ah, uh, copy that. Yeah, I got a visual on the gap. I just realized I still have full throttle. Um, considering the fuel quantity, I think I can get away with that, but I really shouldn't have full throttle in. So we're gonna slow it down a bit and move the detent away from full power and move it back to 80%. climb up a little bit too as well. I'm trying to find any switches for the wet pylons to see if I'm actually draining my tanks, but there's not really much sign of that, and I can't look down all too much or I'm gonna hit the water. Oh well, like I said, hitting the water it is. Oh, that poor aircraft is trying to keep up with us. Uh, well, I think I need to just climb a little bit more and just hold a steady course so he can actually catch up with me. I, I guess it's just another guy from the local air force wanting to have a look at us. Looks like a Paniva Tornado. I don't know if that is how you pronounce it, Paniva. Oh, anyway, it's a tornado, all right. They're very curious about us. Fully armed, too, for a strike mission. Oops. Sorry, tornado. I don't know if he has anything to say or not, but we are on channel 3, so let's just put up three fingers to his operator and see if he has anything to say.
I ha still have to say that the details on this skin is quite amazing. Uh, but that tornado is still very silent, so I can only assume he's either not on our frequency or he has nothing to say. Nice to have the company though. I can at least say he's not... Oh, he's breaking off. He's breaking off now. I was going to say that we can at least assume he's not a rescue. But he's resuming his patrol now, so... And we are actually closing in on Sochi here. So at least we had something nice to look at. Yeah, I've switched to channel 3, so she, so, that part is, uh, already done. Let's see here if we have, might want to, uh, adjust the heading a wee bit again. Volume is set. <sighs> Fuel is looking good. Still, there's still a little bit to go, but we've at least manage most of the stretch. We are gonna head a little bit more out to sea. Obvious reason for this being that we are going to... We can actually descend a bit as well. Make sure that we start our descent early, so landing will not be a stuka dive towards the ocean. We are almost at the town of Sochi, and we are slowly descending so that we can head on to the runway when we need to. That said, I still don't trust the fucking radio. But it's on free and it's on TR, so we should be good with it. Uh, but I'm gonna switch it to T plus R and see if that has any other effects. Nah, we'll just... 
fool around a bit. One very interesting thing about the flight characteristics. Uh, can't even pronounce the word. Uh, the flight characteristics of the Sabre is that you can't put, take your hand off the stick. I mean, you can um, trim her if you like. So I'm going to try and trim her into flying in a straight line now. And we're gonna see if that works. Okay, so we're coming up on Sochi. We should have the airstrip visible soon enough. Extending flaps. Yeah, I can see the airstrip down there, but um, my communications menu just disappeared, meaning that most likely communications menu and radio contact menu are different buttons. So we are probably gonna have to startle the poor souls at Sochi. Or I could just do this. Sorry. Volume knob. Microphone button. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Six, copy that. Okay, nose wheel is not responding. I say again, nose wheel is not responding. God fucking damn it, this is not gonna end well, is it? Air brakes extended. We'll have to land on our fuel tanks. But the nose wheel is not responding at this time. And that is actually not a good thing at all. I don't really know why the nose wheel is uh, being difficult right now, but we'll, we'll see if um, we can get it done. Uh, we just refurbished this bird, and the first thing that happens is that the nose wheel is not coming down. God damn it. We are most likely gonna have to take a proper look at that once we're back on the ground. Here's hoping we don't catch fire. I can see something on the runway, hopefully that's not something that are that intends to be in our way. God damn that nose wheel. A little late for that, ain't it? Check landing gear. Wind two three zero at five. 
Okay, let's do it. God damn it, this is not gonna end well at all. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We can't abort. Ford 1-1, one, one. Sochi, clear to taxi to runway 24. Crap. Well, at least it was a controlled... Ford 1-1, one, one. taxi to parking area. All signs will be rolling 1. Feel free to park anywhere on the northern ramp. We have a team of mechanics assigned to you and are awaiting your arrival. Perfect! A team of mechanics! We are going to need them! We are so going to need that team of mechanics and they are gonna be pissed that the first thing they have to do is to fix the front landing gear. They really need to fix that. Come on, guys. Come out of the woodworks and fix my landing gear.